have got a good record against them here at Campbellton. Yeah, don't like to see sides. You don't have to win trials. I don't like seeing sides get towed up as the Warriors were against the Dragon side. That's always got a question mark over their attack. The, the Warriors line up for today. We, we pinpoint the stars, don't we? Two of us to check in his Warriors debut. Manu Vaduve back from off-season surgery. Missed the uh, test series against England. Centre pairing. Blake Ashford is another new signing to the club, but not in superstar class. Against Solomon Akata entering his second season. Sean Johnson returning from that injury alongside the veteran in Jeff Robson. And in the forward pack for the Warriors front, we have Lilliman, Luke, and Gabe. Last seen in the Warriors, uh, well, as a junior with the Warriors, but uh, finally plays first grade with them. Ben Henry, Simon Mannering, and Ryan Hoffman. And on the bench for the Warriors for game one, Martellino being relegated to their Roach on Debu, Lasone and Bodine Thompson. And the Tigers, well, they'll line up this way as they give each other a hug or a best wishes before the game. James Tedesco at fullback. Jordan Rankin wins the wing spot along with David Northaluma. Tim Simona and Kevin Nagama in the centres. Mitchell Moses, Jack Littlejohn replaces the suspended Luke Brooks in the number seven. Arab Woods, the skipper. Kyle Lovett off the bench to start at dummy half. Tim Grant, the new signing. The other front rower, Curtis Sirinan, Sawaso Sue, Chris Lawrence make up the back row. We've got Cherrington, Aloi, Siu Manifanai, and Buchanan as the interchange bench. So not far away from kickoff, he's got the best seat in the house this afternoon. Let's go down to James Smith as he stands by uh, for the players to come onto the field. Jimmy? Yeah, the heat is on, Vossi, both literally and figuratively for these two teams. In fact, the respective coaches have been hearing it for longer than an off-season. But the important thing is to block out that white noise and concentrate on making your players and therefore your team improved versions of themselves. There's so many storylines in this game. Will the Warriors big men handle this heat? Is Jeff Robson the ying to Sean Johnson's yang? And can the West Tigers reproduce what they did in round 25 in the absence of Robbie Farah? So those questions might be answered this afternoon. It might take as long as a season before we get a clearer picture. But one thing is clear this afternoon that desperation will be on show round one at Cameltown Stadium. Is the Warriors coming out first to uh, Jimmy, the side that hasn't won a first round match since 2009. That is a rather unflattering statistic. 26th meeting between the clubs here today and sixth time at Campbelltown. The last two visits for the Warriors, they have conceded huge scores. And one of those was round 25 last year, but she has come as a massive surprise if this lineup they field today conceded a big score. That that would be shattering well, for the Warriors I, fans. Yeah, look, I, I think you said it, Vossi. The, the Warriors need to win. Um, Andrew McFadden's job is on the line if they come away from Campbelltown with a loss. And that's even saying it's it's only round one as the Tigers make their way out. Curtis Sirenan looking for a big year. Out of the back row. And there's a the new skipper, Aaron Woods. An outstanding season with the Tigers last year. There was a couple of shining lights. James Tedesco won, Aaron Woods the other. A great origin series. And Mitchell Moses, he becomes the the man with the most first grade games when you're talking about their halves partnership with Jack Littlejohn. An amazing stat from the Fox Sports Lab. The last eight seasons, the Tigers have won their opening home game of the year. Not always round one, with their first match at a home venue. For eight years running, they've come up with a win. So new players, new hairstyles, the whole bit on Super Saturday. Raiders already with a cue in the rack for the afternoon. Two points hard fought against Penrith. Mr. Klein is the man in charge. With uh, Chris Suttor as the assistant referee. Let's have some fun on this Saturday afternoon. The meat and the sandwich game with the Cowboys and the Sharks to come up later. And the Warriors with Gabe on the first run back. And there is a success story right there. The fact that he's playing first grade round one. And gee, that is a quick time to get a penalty. He's a tear away, Gabe. The Tigers just over enthusiastic. Curtis Sirin and Aaron Woods. 
Just too long on the Warriors' front rower. What's his feet? And that one, or oh, Tedesco. Were well, they going to say he was in the field of play when he knocked it back to Moses? Sideline official was right there, and there's a lucky break for the Tigers. Well, that, that, that's all, an almost unforgivable mistake from Sean Johnson this early. We've just spoken about him in the pregame and how important his consistency is with the Warriors this year. Paul Stark, there was the replay. Looked good. Sure. Well done, James Tedesco. And then follows up. Tigers get a penalty. So one minute gone. We've had about five seconds of play. A, a crazy start to a game that we had huge question marks on, not knowing how it was going to unfold. The captain is going to go close to the sideline here. Looks and this is bizarro work to start the season for Warriors and the Tigers. James Gave took the ball up off the kickoff. There was a penalty blown. Sean Johnson fails to find touch. The next play, the Tigers are given a penalty. Aaron Woods hits it up, and I tell you what, he ran a long way before the War he got to the Warriors' defence. That they were standing still, but they played it well because they're all waiting for him. Once he hit them. Out over the oh, sideline. Fadden and Taylor, respective coaches. They've already both thrown a ping. It'll it'll become heavier. You'd have to have padded rooms as a coach, wouldn't you? They've trained all off-season to start a game like this, to start your year like this. And here's the Warriors with it. 31 metres away from their own line. That's why we ru love rugby league. So much unpredictability. Here's Hoffman with it. And what a, what a day, what a moment to captain the Warriors back on well, what he could call home soil. Plenty of time as Campbelltown as a junior. Lilliman almost a halfway, solid defence, and we're getting through some regulation football now. As uh, Mannering, no longer the captain, tackled 42 metres away from the Tigers' line. This is really straightforward stuff from the Warriors in this set. Gave with another run. Martellino starting off here to change bench. Last tackle, 30 away from the West Tigers line for Johnson. Going to get used to him wearing the number six. And he takes it out of play. And that was a very controlled, if almost unexciting, set from the Warriors. Well, you might say it was negative, but after what had happened in the opening two minutes, I, I, I think it was a good play. And Johnson was just happy to kick that ball out and settle things down, get through a set and get to your kick. And after the first kick from Sean Johnson that failed to find touch, I, he was happy to see that one get across the sideline. Tigers have every player on the open side of this scrum. And uh, there is Jordan Rankin. He's come back to the NRL after a couple of years in the Super League. The former Titan. And he's the boo as a 16-year-old. Nagama at uh, right centre. Back to the 20 for Wests. And uh, with Sirenen. And it looks like they're going from the same playbook as the Warriors now. The Tigers trying to warm into the match after an indifferent start. Tim Grant there on that run. Back as far as the 40. Tackle number four. Tigers possession. Hard meters storming onto the ball there. That is uh, Sue all fired up. And uh, the penalty is awarded again to the Tigers ferocious charge though well and it's one that could have gone either way i, I think suaso sue was trying to play the ball quick there might have been a warrior's hand on his back but he failed to control it if they had to pull that up and put a scrum down i would have been happy with that too but they've gone the tigers way and kyle lovett starts the match at hooker with uh, mania cherrington on the bench now woods with it well, he's playing a running forward role. Little John's playing a dummy half role. So they're mixing things up. 15 metres away from the Warriors' line. First test of either defence. Tedesco, look out. He's a king of the tackle bus last year. No man broke more tackles. There he is, wrapped up five metres from the line. Now Sue with it. And around the legs, Lilliman. But they are peppering the Warriors' goal line right now. Tigers fan... Willie Mendel come up with a try straight up. Curtis Sirinan has been delivered a pass into the breadbasket. I can barely believe his luck that there was just 
threadbare defence defense to go through. I don't think it was touched by the front line. I think that there was a complete lack of communication. They had the numbers there. Jeff Robson came up quick. Solomon Akata stayed on the outside. He played nice and direct. Mitchell Moses, and it was only Tuovasashek that got a hand on Curtis Sirinen as he crossed the line. Ill, Ill discipline, wow. costing the Tigers and a, a definite lack of talk in that defensive line. Amazing. A lot of hands in the air wondering who, who's, whose tackle was it, but that's not good enough. Curtis Sirinen had to wait until round 24 last year to get his lone try of the season, and here he is as the Tigers' first for this year. Now they had a kickoff yesterday between Mitchell Moses and Jordan Rankin to see who would be first choice goal kicker. It is Moses. It's, uh, Rankin will look after a lot of the restarts, but it is obviously a, a bit of a problem for the Tigers. Let's see how Moses goes first up. Six and a half minutes into the contest, and uh, he's nailed it. A 6 0 lead for the Tigers over the Warriors. Fox Sports Super Saturday, Jimmy Sideline. Yeah, it's after an indifferent start for both sides, uh, there's been some really good signs from the West Tigers. Aaron Woods getting over the advantage line, and then uh, Mitchell Moses playing square to his Holy Cross. Uh, Rhino's teammate Curtis Siren, but also the threat from Tedesco at the back, which is what the defence was looking at as well. Really well worked play there from the West Tigers. And the Warriors go shallow with uh, Luke on the restart. I don't think he got it the way he wanted, and it's given uh, the Tigers a 25 metre start on tackle number one. Warriors fans would be thinking, they know the hashtag is history happens this year, not history repeats. Well, that's a very disappointing start to the match defensively. Now Woods with it. No surprise that he has started the game and the season strongly for Lawrence. They do tell us they're going to play a little more free-flowing, though, the Tigers, given the opportunity. But right now they're laying a platform with Sue. And he's uh, managed to crawl his way through the defence and then lost the ball. Well, he's caused some problems, Suase, Sue. Couple of good charges, but comes up with the error on the back of that one. That was, it was only the fourth set that the Tigers had the ball when they scored that try, and it's got to be a huge concern for everyone involved at the Warriors that really the first assault that the, the Tigers put on the Warriors line, they come up with points. Scrum clock is applied here, and they're inside 10 seconds. Uh, Warriors with a ball. I think you could excuse the two sides if they try and use all of the 30 given conditions today. Still more than 50% of the ground in sunlight here. Maybe that be a tactic play to the shade where possible. Gave a over halfway with another run. Tigers with the early break here. 6 0 lead, and we're into the ninth minute of play. Luke for Mannering. Then for Johnson, nice setup with that tour passes check and on for Rashford. He started his career at the Tigers. Lola here. Infield for Henry. Johnson skips across field. There could be trouble here. Now Luke, he delivers short to Qatar. Maybe the longer ball to Vatave was the way to go. Last tackle, Warriors 18 metres away from the Tigers line. Robson, Johnson. He was tempted to run, put the kick in, not great. Fielded by Rankin, and back he comes. Well, they had a couple of goes at the Tigers defence then, down the right and then shifted to the left. Both times really didn't take and engage the defence before they passed the ball. A lot of playing before the line meant that the Tigers didn't have much trouble wrapping them up. Steady she goes, back to the 20 for the west side now. It's quite a record, though, isn't it? Eight years straight winning your first home game. I haven't uh, compared that with all the sides, but to say only Melbourne probably rival it. Well, I can think of defeats for Brisbane and others. Now it comes down to Tuovasa Shen. There is the first step we see. The cover did well to hang on. A little too long, though. We 
almost swung himself out of the tackle, but Nagama just didn't want to let him go. Well, was so he was still moving. I, I, I think that Nagama's entitled to try and put him on the ground yeah, in that situation. Apologies, I mean, if they did say for sure that I wouldn't have even called that a flop. The tackle hadn't been finished when he uh, dived in to finish the work. Anyway, it's good to be debating these points on uh, hot autumn days as uh, that is some pretty serious defence from the Tigers. No love for the Warriors captain there. And uh, now with Lilliman. And the Warriors are five inside their own half. And game number one for these two sides. So far, Broncos, the Bulldogs, and the Raiders have been the winners. Played by Vatuve. Five inside Tigers territory. Johnson tests out that. That was really sharp. Got his way past Lawrence. Very direct from Sean Johnson. Luke now for Gabe. A little bit more of a spring in the step for the Warriors. Last tackle, 21 metres out, and a penalty on the last tackle. Four arm on the head. And there you go. Call against Tim Grant, and they call it a bit of rubbish. Yeah, late in the count, back-to-back -back penalties for the Warriors. If they decide not to take the two points. OK, wait till he jumps in, guys. Pretty good place to be mounting a, an attack on this Tigers line. Oh, gee, they gave the Tigers plenty of time to catch their breath there. Don't you, don't you test the defence back-to-back sets? But, well, if you're just going to hit the ball up like that, like that yes, take a tap and get on with it. Now, Luke, to Robson. Robson across to Gabo. He's got the right arm free. And he found, I think he found He's North Aluma. He did, David North Aluma, heading in field to just try and strike it. Gabe was stepping out of Tigers' tackles, got that arm free, and just couldn't resist the temptation to throw it. The Tigers get it back a couple of times after penalties. In this match, they have a big right arm pass, and there is Norfoluma in front of Qatar. Yeah, did a great job, Norfoluma, because Qatar was there. Nice little offload from Woods to Sue. On the red stripe, Tigers enter the field, and they will kick from that point through Moses. One bounce, and that has taken quite a turn. That must have been the deuce run from Moses. We're still in a little bit of cricket mode. As uh, two of us are shit driven back. Fox Sports with coverage of Australia versus South Africa in the T20. You can watch that. Warriors now almost back to their own 30. Completion rates five of seven for both teams so far. And it is the Tigers with that lead thanks to the Sirenan try. No forward has touched them all more than Gave from either side so far. Making the most of uh, his start. Here is Luke. I'm not sure what that was when he picked up the ball there. I thought he was going to throw it between his legs. Well, I think he just got jammed up under James Gave when he played the ball. Johnson to the line. He can bomb high. Some of them come down with astronauts hanging onto the ball. And uh, Rankin has lost it, but it went back. And Simona scoots away and has got away from Johnson. Simona with uh, multiple swerves, lost the ball and gets a penalty. That's some crazy football out there so far. Yeah, a bit of luck with the bounce of the ball. Jordan Rankin couldn't handle the high one from Johnson, but the, the ricochet landed into the hands of Tim Simona, and it was a 30, 40 metre weaving run from him, and off the back of that, the penalty. Getting back, himself back. The ball definitely went back. And the Tigers on the attack. A couple of Tigers. Really could have been anything there if uh, a Warriors player latched onto it. Played by Woods slowly. And Tedesco flat footed for Grant. Talk more about his contract uh, later in the match. They're 15 metres away from the Warriors line. Little John back for Moses doing a good job early. Lawrence. Johnson rushed up and the Tigers are in again. And this time it is Levin who scores. They've never seen it better. The Tigers fans at Campbelltown. Well, the run from Chris Lawrence was a beauty because he'd set himself on, a, on an arcing run across the field and then straightened up when the pass was delivered. Got on the inside. Just watch Lawrence here. Just off the left foot. 
somehow pops a ball to Lovett. It was an awkward one, but Lovett was able to handle it well. He was also travelling at speed. The ball was a touch behind him and low around his hips. And he's done a great job to drag it in and get the Tigers second try. Johnson out of the line quickly and the footwork, and it was just a subtle little left foot step that Chris Lawrence put on him. And he was clever enough to get the ball away as he crashed into a couple of Warriors defenders. And off the back of another penalty, the Tigers get themselves down around the 20 and make the most of their opportunity. Love it. The try and love it. The fans did indeed. His only other try was round four last year against the Doggies. And over to Mitchell Moses, who is uh, looks in control of his game early. And the Tigers are in control on the scoreboard. 12 0 Super Saturday. Jimmy. Yeah, it is a Super Saturday if you're a West Tigers fan, isn't it? He does look crisp, Mitchell Moses. And this man, Chris Lawrence, winding back the clock there. We all remember him as the 18 year old running on at Suncorp Stadium against the Brisbane Broncos way back in 2006. Now he's playing his 173rd match for the West Tigers, and they love him out here. He is Lawrence of Campbelltown. Like you, Jimmy, a, a former student of St. Greg's at Campbelltown. There's a few of them out there today. And uh, Luke with another restart. That time he struck it better. Floats down to the goal line. What a start for the West Tigers, and I guess you could use it with a sli slightly different emphasis. What a start, Warriors. Well, what a challenge this sets up for the Warriors. Andrew, you said you wouldn't be surprised if it was 16-0 after 20 minutes. Well, it's 12-0. Oh, it's, it's and uh, Sue, very spirited, very purposeful, the effort of the Tigers forward so far. Rankin with that run coming in. And then, I don't know, quite know what Gabay was doing on Jordan Rankin there. Thought he was a pretty comfortable mattress. Another penalty to the Tigers. Seven penalties in the match so far. Yeah, and each time they've been given a penalty down, they've been able to find touch around the 40, get themselves at the 20 by tackle three, and, and then score a try. So love it with a run. The way Jason Taylor has got this side working with Little John playing the dummy half. Love it extra forward. It's all clicking for the West Tigers. Now for Grant, he's the man who stepped into the shoes of Keithy Galloway here at the Tigers. Here is Woods up to the line, nice play. There's Moses again, now to Desco, and it comes Norfoluma. Norfoluma, 15 metres from the line, away from Robson. Oh, that was brilliant play from Mitchell Moses. Going to ground, slipped and still delivered the pass to his support play. Woods with an offload. Well, this is going to be 18-0 after 15 minutes, what I'm seeing here. The Tigers, just who wants to score the try? It'll be Norfoluma who gets it. He's over in the corner. Local junior has scored the Tigers' third try of the day. The Warriors are being sliced and diced. And they wouldn't be able to believe what's happening to them. Another penalty around halfway, they find touch. And then some terrific play from the Tigers. They are completely outplaying their opposition in the opening 20 minutes. That was a terrific ball from Moses. He threw a good one earlier in the set to have the Warriors on the back foot. They go back down the right. And David Norfoluma didn't have to do that much. Wasn't exactly in his bread basket, so a good hand shown by the Tigers winger to make sure of it and then get himself in the corner. It's well, staggering, isn't it? But, but it is it staggering. Is staggering. It is staggering. We say you don't believe trial form, but it now appears the trial form in terms of the Warriors was 100% real. Well, they they just continue, they're punching, and it doesn't matter where they get the ball. They're getting on a roll quickly, the Tigers. And But when they get inside the, the Warriors' half, well, they're threatening to break the line every tackle. The little combinations between Woods and Suaso Su is dangerous every time they handle it. Woods is dominating the middle of the field. This is Radio Nil, Brent. Here we go. A quarter of the way through the game. Moses, right foot. And uh, he can't part the posts. He's he, wide wide, Robbie Farrah. 
Maybe he may have to play New South Wales Cup. I don't know. There's Luke Brooks under suspension to start the season. But this is a Tiger side, Jimmy, in great form. Yeah, and Mitchell Moses is at the heart of everything that they're doing. He, he's got the two try assists and then the pass for Lawrence before he gave his try assist as well. Interesting, he's got that clause in his contract. Supposed to be triggered in January. Wasn't happy with the footy he played last year. Said, no, I want to push it back to June so I can put some more runs on the board. He's doing that round one. Yeah, there was good signs at the back end of last season eh? from Mitchell Moses. He looked like he'd just started to settle. And this is a guy that's only played 30 first grade games. Uh, but there were certainly some good signs last year. He's had another off-season under his belt. He'd be more confident about his, about the size of his body. Just saw Siamanifanei take that run for the Tigers. You bring him off the bench, he's ready to rip into them, and on they go. And look at uh, this sort of running is punching holes in the Warriors' defence. They look tired. Uh, and the Tigers look like they've all got the Energizer Bunny. They're, they're, they're running around. Here's the Gamera away to North Aluma again. The kick in field. They may have been offside. And then the ball is knocked down by Lola here. Play on. The has got it. It could be the fourth try. The video bunker's going to have a say on this one. If they were offside, the decision will come back very quickly, Brent. Yeah, I, I think that's my only problem with it, whether they're onside or not. Now, North Aluma gets down that touchline, purposely kicks it back in field. Well, they've got some uh, problems in the bunker as they sort through this. I'm happy with the onside. Yeah, They're All happy right. with the onside. There you go. Goes through the feet of Tedesco. He's dropped the ball, Lola, here, and the Gama picks it up. This will be a try. Gee. So no hand here from Lovett. That's all they've got to confirm. Lovett going through for the ball. I think the ball's dropped and not within his reach. Lola here. Looks like he drags the ball forward. Yeah, there's Lovett's hand. Reaches in. Uh, we've, we've got, got a Tigers knock on. on. Uh, we've, we've got, got a decision going to the board. board. Okay, Lovett's hand reaches in and touches the footy. I think, Luke, I think Luke Patton may have given away the decision from the bunker. I'm betting it's no try. It'll be a no try. <laughs> no try is the call. Knock on against the Tigers. Kyle Lovett. Talk just about dodge a bullet. Just fractionally got his hand to the ball and knocked it into Nagama, who then into Lola here. Well, things didn't travel quite as smoothly as uh, what we hoped from the video bunker there, but we reached what we believe is the right decision. And I suppose that's the main thing, as the Warriors get a penalty and they are desperate for anything to go their way at the moment. Well, they've played without the footy for, for quite some time. You, you said they're out in their feet. We'll see what they've got left. Well, because they just don't appear to have the energy levels some, that the Tigers have. Yeah, they need some punch in their running. You can see why Jason Taylor didn't want a drinks break. His side are, are playing out of their skins and running so hard. The Warriors flagging on the end of the scoreline. Here's Lilliman with it. These are tough times for the team from across the Tasman. I'm sure the viewers through Sky Sport NZ, they're doing it tough watching the Warriors here. 30 metres away from the line. 16-0 scoreline. Luke to Robson. Now for Hoffman. Not how he saw day one as captain unfolding either. Luke back in field for Mannering. Up to the line they go. Johnson and out. Missed to Vasa Sheik. All Aceford can do is dive on it. And he's covered up by Little John. Last tackle, Warriors disjointed. Johnson bombs high out towards North Aluma. He's lost it straight in the arms of Qatar. And Solomon Akada has been given a late Valentine's Day present, an early Easter gift, and a very early Christmas present. Well, the mistake from North Aluma, and it was a tough one to, to try and drag in, 
It wasn't your conventional bomb across field. It didn't have that that end over end spin, and that made it hard to judge for Northaluma. Johnson rescues what was another poor set from the Warriors. Off the back of the drop ball, they cleaned it up, the Warriors, and then Northaluma, sun in his eyes, just couldn't handle that one as he was running backwards, too. That's a tough take. He wasn't up to it, and Qatar was able to get the the ball that bounced up, sat up nicely for him. And that is 13 tries for the career. In his debut season last year, a dozen tries played every game. A success story for the Warriors in what ended up a disappointing year. And Tui Lawler here is the first choice kicker ahead of, uh, ahead of Johnson. He too was a success story last year. Mahala, Lula here. Brady, you in the end thought he should have been Rookie of the Year. I, I did. I thought he was outstanding. Played every position in the back line. They've, they've got him on the wing. And they'd be feeling a little better if he can slide this one through the posts. It could have been 24-0. It could have been, or 22-0. Instead, it is 16-4. Jimmy on the sideline. Yeah, got to agree with Brandy. That was a set that was going nowhere until Sean Johnson rescued it with the, the kick and then the drop ball into the sun there for David Norfoluma. But you're right, Bossy, about Solomon Akata. A real bright spot for the Warriors last year. He's made that left centre position his own. And, and it looks like... Uh, trying to find a positive for the Warriors in this first 24 minutes because I'm telling you, I've seen guys walking past here looking at each other in defensive lines. They were completely lost. Maybe Solomon Akata can kickstart 2016. So Rankin gets us into the next passage of play and here is the Warriors Player of the Year last season. Martellino with it. Back over the 20. And uh, the Warriors have their first try for the year. But four tries in this first half. 25 minutes. It was... Uh, a weird start to the game, multiple mistakes. And then the Tigers totally dominant against the disappointing Warriors defence. That's a quick post-mortem for you up to this point. Martellino with the ball, five short of halfway. And uh, they're getting through this set in uh, a bit of a groove. Now Robson allowed to run a long way. Almost as if the, the Tigers were thinking, well, Robson doesn't run. Well, he did there. Johnson on the last. There's another one, another beauty towards Rankin. And he was able to set the feet in goal and now sprint back to the 20. And he, oh, Jordan Rankin. No, he's going to take it again. I think you'll find... Jesse Sue, mate. Jesse right. They weren't back yeah. behind the 20 metre line. Jesse, the rest of the Tigers. The Maybe a couple of okay. the Tigers feeling the pinch. 16 nil. you've got all the energy in the world. But all it needs is a little setback like the Qatar try and you start to feel the pinch again. That one was just too deep from Johnson, and they need him to be better than that. They, they can't afford to, to just put a ball in the in goal like that and an easy take for the Tigers' winger. Tim Grant just did his uh, seventh hit-up of the day. Aloya is out there now on debut. And young Josh, former Parramatta under-20 player. And with it is Simona. I reckon he trained the house down in the off-season. One of the real little-known new recruits, and here he is. Game one in first row, wearing jumper number 15. Tigers at 22 metres from the Warriors line. Last tackle. Little John turns them left. Moses, that little kick back to Desco. Little magic trick from the Tigers on the deck. Great scoop up by Grant. Brilliant play. Lawrence Moses fires it out to Nagama. He's got North Alumer in support. Puts a kick in there for Desco. That is the try of the year. And again, Mitchell Moses involved in everything. It was his little kick to Tedesco, who was able to pop the ball back. Little corkscrew back into the centre of the field, and Tedesco well, just pushes one out. Tim Grant scoops the ball up. Chris Lawrence finds Moses, who fires one out to Nagama, and then, as was the kick from North Aluma, back on the inside. They didn't come up with a try from the North Aluma kick. But Tedesco gets himself back and involved in the game after being on the ground. And the Tigers score their fourth try. Moses, brilliant. Just gave Nagama some time to think about what he needed to do. This, it was the, 
the force of the pass gave him the time and then the Gama just hooks it back in field to Desco. No problems about the onside. He's ecstatic about that result. Yeah, put his name up in lights. James Tedesco on the end of all of that. That is just, well, it's better than brilliant. And uh, we said earlier they had an intention where they could for, for free-flowing football. Better emphasis on it, the Tigers. And they've shown us there, look out when they get on top in matches, what they could do to other teams. Moses for 22 to 4 from 16 in from touch has got another two four tries to one Jimmy Smith sideline I reckon I might have to pull out the incredible meter very early in the season after that one I, I, I don't well it's better than brilliant because brilliant just happens whereas this is effort involved here Brandy mentioned James Tedesco. He was on the ground. He got up off the ground. And remember, Mitchell Moses kicked the ball and then he came back around Chris Lawrence to do it again. So it's effort on effort from those two young players. It is spectacular. Great start, West Tigers. 22 to 4, Tigers over Warriors. Raiders winners earlier today. 30 to 22 over Penrith. James Seguiaro, a broken arm. And uh, Blake Austin, a knee injury for the Raiders. Quick story out of that game. And, of course, the wrap-up on Fox Sports, you'll hear it all on Super Saturday full-time later tonight after the Cowboys v Sharks. Almost back to halfway. And this is Grant. Another good run. His stats are 10 tackles and 8 hit-ups for Tim Grant. Unchanged minutes now to Desco. Kick turns Lola here around. And I reckon the Warriors are happy to see that go over the sideline. Although now we've got... A, a real problem here. The way they're holding the leg may even be a fracture. Is it Henry who's had diabolical luck with his knee? Two knee reconstructions almost back to back. But the pain he is in, it didn't appear to me to be of a ligament nature. Now there was just a, well, he grabbed the knee, but Andrew, he's, and it, it, it's just an impact injury. And that's, that's a heavily strapped knee that he's carried into the game. And I know that's the one that he's had two reconstructions on, but it, it wasn't an injury where there was a twist in it. It was just looks like an impact injury. I, I don't know what sort of damage that could have done, but he's in, in he's in surgery. Brandy, he did his knee at, uh, at training. And then last year, well, in 2014, he, he got you know, into the test side for New Zealand. You thought, well, you know, he's going to achieve his potential. And then last year, only four games did his knee against the Broncos. He sent, spent so much time in rehab these last few years. And every league fan can only do, and well, can only wish him well. Jimmy Smith sideline, you're watching this close up. Oh, it's shattering. Bossy, and you've gone through the, the history that he's had with that knee. I'm sitting here next to former international Daryl Halligan. I followed the play. He, he kept his eyes on Ben Henry. He said, in complete frustration, he started smashing his knee with the hand. I don't know whether it's trying to put kneecaps back in or what it was, but have a look at the young man. Absolutely devastating. 27 games in three years is the tally. Football robbed from his career. It's a tough sport. And it can be a very hard luck story. One so many players and there's Ben Henry game one Jimmy will follow up to get the uh, full story on the extent of the problem yeah, just just notice that Manaya Cherrington was on the field during that set he was back in at dummy half Kyle Lovett of course in the 14 jump but started the game and it was Jack Littlejohn who'd been playing dummy half up until now that Cherrington's on the field Hard run there from Sam Lasone, another one of the graduates of last year. Martellino will get them up close enough to halfway. Nine minutes remain in this uh, first half. Our second game on Super Saturday in round one. And last play, it is here for the Warriors. Yet to see Isaac Luke in any sort of uh, attacking mojo as the kick towards North Luma. He's lost it again. And uh, Qatar almost picked it up again. It may have gone forward to Robson. They will check it okay. in the bunker. We're back to tackle one here, I think. Um, no try. Just check to see if there's enough on there, whether it was a double knock on or not. 
Now, I originally thought it was touched by one of the Warriors who pushed it forward. But if they've done one thing right, it's, it's they've kicked into the sun. We've cleared the kick. We now move foot forward to the contest. North Aluma. Tough time in recent minutes. There's a hand to it. Ryan Hoffman's the man we're looking at. It's Ryan Hoffman's hand, and it's it's come off with North Luma, I reckon, first. Yeah. So I think the best result the Warriors will get, or at the very least, would be knock on against the Tigers. Is that the way you're seeing it? Yeah, I, 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 I'm, pretty sure, six, I'm pretty sure it's six. I'm pretty sure it's touched Ryan Hoffman decision. as well. Oh, well. Anyway, we'll see if we're right. We think it's come off North Luma first as a knock on back into Hoffman. So double knock on, which would be a Warriors scrum feed. They have reached a decision, and it's about to be passed on from the NRL bunker. Perhaps not going quite as smoothly as it has in previous matches this weekend. And the decision has been passed on that we will have the scrum feed to the Warriors. We could be, we could be bunker, we could be review officials. I don't know if I'd like to be in the bunker all weekend. Remember they, it's a, it's a skeleton crew in there. <laughs> they just keep backing up. Ten metres out then, Warriors have the scrum feed with uh, eight and a half minutes remaining in this first half. Big Manu Bay, not too many touches. Five metres from the line, Luke. It was a poor play the ball from Manu. Mannering is driven sideways, but a, a test here for the West's defence. And there's a penalty against Aaron Woods. Certainly the Warriors not quick. They don't look like they're going to take one quick anyway. Sean Johnson saying a lot out there. He looks a little frustrated with it all. Now, Lasone, maybe I'm reading it wrong. So, five minutes away from the line, Luke Martellino. They were deep, but no one supporting Ben if he could offload. And he accepts the tackle with the Tigers continuing to defend their goal line. Again, they come right. Johnson's got a lot of players moving here. And Aishford ends up with it. Aishford goes close. We're expecting Tulvasa Sheik just to to slide into the action somewhere here. Yet to see it in this play. As uh, Thompson got that started, Lasone set a field. Tigers do well. <laughs> LEA there with a tackle, hopped on his back. Up to tackle four, Robson switches play. Tulvasa Sheik out behind Johnson. He's going to kick short. It came off a hand. The Tigers have covered it up. And referee Klein says knock back. And that was a bit of a dog's breakfast from the Warriors there. They've got no punch around the ruck, the Warriors, and they're playing they're all their set plays are a long way from the defensive line. When they threw the ball down the right here and out to Blake Ashford, he was 10 metres away from the defence. They just they just slid off the ball players and, and wrapped up the, the man that's receiving it. They did that on the other side too. A, a, a poor set. And now the Tigers slick. Jordan Rankin's away. Coming across was Johnson, Lola here, plenty of troops there. Takes them a while to get him down though. Had to pull out a couple of clotheslines to knock him down. Plays it 40 metres away from the Warriors line. Lawrence has it. Not another try before half time, but 22 to 4. Well, that's what the Warriors fans would be saying. Last tackle. And uh, this time out to Sirenen. They're going to run it to Desco with a step. And just shrugs away, has offloaded, the ball is loose. Moses will put a kick in eventually. And uh, it's easy for two of us to check. Relieved uh, the Warriors after that. Tigers go, a, what, 80, 85 metres on the set. 22 to 4. Now with six minutes remaining in the first half. Final game of Super Saturday. We're off to Townsville. With the Sharks and the Cowboys to do battle. There's the contrast. There's been a bit of rain up in Townsville. While we swelter down here. Yeah, we just had a look at the missed tackles. 20 from the Warriors and only 3 from the West Tigers. That's a fair indication of the scoreline we've got. Martellino on tackle number 5. Quick play the ball. Luke will be the kicker this time. And has got it past Rankin. Who's now had his moments in this first half. So Rankin comes back when he made his debut back in 08. 
It was a Monday night football game against the Knights. He went to school at Palm Beach, Burumbin that day, played Monday night footy and went back to school the next morning. Didn't, how didn't good even, would that have been? Well, after you've played first grade yeah. at 16, you're, oh, not how good would you be? you're not having the day off. You know, you're, bu you're buying me the icy poles or whatever at school. They'd be looking after you, wouldn't they? And they ran 40 Tigers with it. But uh, we've been negative about the Warriors, but let's wrap the Tigers for their work and the purpose of their play. And they've stuck to the plan they had and when they've had an opportunity to drive around they've done that they get another penalty here they've been helped by a number of penalties in the first half andrew they've done it off the back of the, what's happened around the ruck they, they've just they, they've been over the advantage line they've worried the warriors defense close to the play the ball and that's allowed mitchell moses to play off the back of it and he has controlled things beautifully for the west tigers when they've been down this end of the field. Here we go again. Another penalty around halfway. I think Moses has been quite superb, to be honest. I, I, I really would clarify. If this was Jonathan Thurston out there doing what Moses would did, would be waxing lyric about, lyrical about how good JT is. Woods is with the ball. Delivers short there. 12 metres away from the line. Bellino came in on the legs there. That Prowler like 10 metres away from the line. Cherrington to the right with Moses. Delivers short for Tedesco. Now we got through the tackle of Robson at first attempt. Look out. Here come the Tigers. Switching. Short side. You betcha. Not for Luma. They're going to say maybe took off with a foot on the sideline. Wow. My sideline official is adamant that North Luma okay, infringed here. Seven. Just watch the play from Top Mitchell line. Moses, though. Oh, Goes to the line. We're going to watch. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. How good are our sideline officials so far this year? And we've just had a look at the try, which will be disallowed. But if we, could, if we could just have a look at the play from Mitchell Moses, who went to the line, dummy to throw a regulation pass just to suck the, the, the Warriors winger in, Manu Vatuve, and then just lobbed it, just pushed it over the top of them. Unfortunately for the Tigers, Norfolk Luma has pushed off the sideline. But another, uh, another brilliant piece of work from the number six. And I salute the touch judge, Ricky McFarlane. Well done, Ricky. Right on the spot. Back to his yours. judgment. And here's Vaduve with the ball. So now three to go, first half. A couple of tries or near things for the Tigers. In this first half, could have had the scoreline beyond 30 for them. 22 to 4. Players getting a fair bit of relief now with that shade across the ground. At the northern end, played by Mannering. Martellino, he's tried to get them going. Robson, the Gama did a job on him there. That's tackle number four for the Warriors. Luke away to Hoffman. Running at Sirenen. Two and three in the tackle, but slow it all down. They're just keeping the crowd in the game, the Tigers, both with and without the ball. Last tackle play across to Johnson. They're going to run it. Comes all the way to Thompson. He puts a kick in. Bodine Thompson, it's a pretty good one. Lola here and Tedesco. Oh, you've got to be brave at the back in situations like that. And brave he was, James Tedesco. He's caught one in the hip. And there were three Warriors bearing down on him. And there's no tougher ball for a fullback when you are sprinting from the middle of the field to try and clean one up that's close to the sideline. You've got to stop and head back in field. You know you're going to get cleaned up. Look at the Tigers throw the ball around in front of their own uprights. Nagama's got it. Turns them inside out. Back over the 30. Links up with support. The Tigers need more support. Simona Murray doesn't need any support. That is absolutely, that is the incredible murder. It's blown up from inside their own 10. Across the face of goal. The Tigers. Is this the Tigers of 05 I'm watching? Okay. So we're on tackle three here. I'm going to try. Just make sure no one's impeded. That oh, one is out. They're checking this because he can't believe a team can play that well. That's what they're checking here. We're just going to have a look and see what happened 40 metres out. But the Tigers just shift the ball after James Tedesco did Roll a good job. Here, he comes back. 
and in behind yeah, Moses. Doesn't change. But that had no influence. Yeah. Chance to make the tackle, clear the obstruction, got a decision, going to the board. There we go. It was the fact that Nagama came in behind Mitchell Moses, who supported on the inside, and then a poor effort from Roger Tuavasa Shek on Tim Simona, who looked like he was going to be wrapped up because there were still plenty Good of Warriors players. Going to the board. We're going to the board with a try. The fifth one of the first half for the Tigers. And it's their, their style of play. Try it is. Well, the Tigers fans watching Super Saturday on Fox Sports, we appreciate your viewership. But if, if you live in the vicinity of Campbelltown, get down here now and watch your side in the second half because this is something special. Simona, who scored only five tries last year, three of them were against the Warriors, has just added another one here. 26 to 4. And you've got your storyline for tomorrow's papers right here. Tigers red hot, Warriors stone cold. And Moses successful. It is 28 to 4. You, you weren't sure what was going to happen no. in this game. And I, I guess because it's the Warriors we're talking about, I, I wasn't convinced, but I thought the Warriors. Well, I, I certainly didn't think that it was going to be 28 4 at half time. 30 seconds to go before the bell rings, and I, I don't know how they'd be feeling, this team. Chock full of individual stars. Well, I know how Andrew McFadden would be feeling. Well, I, he'd he, want to vomit. He might. He'd want to throw up. Where, where, I don't know where he lived in Australia before he made his way over there, but he might want to go back there now. I just want to walk out of Campbelltown and just go home to wherever you put, put on a fake beard and hat and just go off to Hungry Jacks out the back or something, or KFC. That's a bit of story as well. So Brandy's got him maybe putting the cue in the rack. What an incredible first half. Let's talk the positive. The halftime address from Andrew McFadden. Well, it might be one of his last. There's plenty saying that if they came, out, came across here and produced what they did in that last trial match against the Dragons, that it wouldn't last too long. I don't know if a first grade, grade coach has been removed after one round. Wow. Well, I know over in the Super League, which we can see on Fox Sports, that uh, Hull KR, their coach Chris Chester, uh, Chester got the chop after three rounds this year. Gone. And overnight, James Webster, former first grader out here with Parramatta and the Tigers, uh, has taken over as coach. Yeah, just one, one of the many contributors to the West Tigers' first half. Kevin Agama down that right side. Very good. A couple of try assists involved in a lot. Mitchell Moses on the inside of him has supplied him with some terrific football. Aaron Woods has been a just a mountain in the middle of the field. They, the, the Warriors pack can't handle the advantage line running of the West Tigers. So for the second half, you've got the northern end basically all in shade and the southern end all in sunshine as uh, Luke gets the second half underway. What are we going to see here? Who would know? 28 to 4. I looked at the Tigers walking back out. It looked like a side that wasn't prepared to just coast through the second half. They want to uh, march on. And back to the 30 in this first set. So many good contributors for them today. Here's the captain, Woods, with 17 tackles and 11 hit-ups and offload in that as well. Back to the 40, Cherrington to Lawrence. And right at the moment, Jason Taylor is a super coach. He's the master coach. He's tactically, it's been wonderful how they've approached this game. 41 metres away from the Warriors line. Tigers in possession. Last tackle. Negotiating the first set safely. Manu's underneath it. Never looked like catching it. Oh, Nagama! How can he mistake Jeff Robson for anyone? Jeff Robson, 60 years of age. Well, he looked on his outside, but he had Curtis Sirinan on the inside. Manu never looked comfortable under that ball, and he looked like he was backpedalling too far. Mitchell Moses throws it up. There's no sun in Manu's eyes here. He'd gone too far backwards. Couldn't get forward quick enough. Two Tigers on the inside, and Jeff Robson just sneaking up on the outside receives the ball. Oh, what an intercept. But presented to Jeff Robson, it was, well, it was about to be 34-4. to 
Warriors back to tackle five of their own. Manu did not be comfortable under that ball at any stage, and now Robson has lost it. And well, it's, it's already past nightmare stage here for the Warriors. This is catastrophic, what is happening out there. Whenever the... Oh. Just wanted to get into his feet quickly. Manai Cherrington out, putting pressure on, and that was the reason for the rush. Ben Henry with his leg, his left leg, and that problematic leg all braced up. Jimmy Smith will give us a report on exactly what it was because it was a it was a strange one. It was an impact injury, I would think, but a serious one. So another good run from Elio. Chris Lawrence is playing out of his skin today. Tigers 20 metres away from the Warriors line. Look at the bodies in motion. They went short of Sirenen. It's turned over. Vanuve is back with the ball for the Warriors. Well, he hasn't pulled many wrong moves yet Mitchell Moses but probably threw that one to Curtis Siren and he was too far into the defensive line he almost run past him now Qatar with the ball they have to find belief from somewhere the Warriors here their only try came from a, a spilt bomb by David Norfoluma he's Martellino as far as line breaks go they haven't had a single one the Warriors not a single line break from a Warriors attack. Crusher tackle mentioned there. Not placed on report though. And penalty goes the way of the Warriors. Yeah, just Six one of those, line breaks for the yeah, Tigers, sorry, Brent. Yes, yeah, one of those situations there. Mataluno ended up on his on the seat of his pants and Woods was behind him and pulled out of it very quickly, but enough to give a penalty away. Fox Sports Super Saturday, Sam Lasone to play it. 25 metres away from the Tigers' line, centre field. They can get it to 28 to 10, and it's three converted tries, the difference. 15 away. Luke still really to put any sort of stamp on the game to Robson. Switch of play. Tourbass is check. Has lost it. Or was either trying to pass. Yeah, I think he realised that he had support on the outside, Andrew. I, I, I think he was setting himself to flick the ball out. Jordan Rankin's come up with their, an error that will hand the ball back to the Warriors. So he was getting it set to flick it out. Little John gets the ball, and Rankin, just as he sidestepped, he let go of the footy. Quickly before this scrum, let's get a report on Ben Henry. Jimmy, what have you got? Yeah, well... I thought it was good news, Vossi. Dislocated kneecap, so not the ACL. A quadriceps tendon rupture. So I asked the doctor, oh, so it's not the ACL. How long do you think? He said, probably season. Luckless Ben Henry is now Johnson with the ball for the Warriors. Close to the line, Aceford. Aceford will be held up just it's above the goal line. So they'll have to go back to the 10-metre line. They did, well there. One. they did well there, the Tigers, because they were backpedalling. Johnson was coming at them with plenty of speed. Put Aceford close to the try line, so good scramble there from the, the Tigers. Determined run by Lasone. Plenty of time left if they could put something together. Robson has a gone through, Chief Robson. Uh, start to the second half for him as now Luke Lasone two of us is check out to Johnson has uh, given it to Aceford he'll get to the line again and be held up like Aceford this, yes they'll say above the line held up like Aceford so above again, the goal four. line takes you back to the 10 metre line this time it's on tackle number four well they couldn't come much closer Aceford into the in goal area twice It'll give the Warriors a bit of room to put on their last two plays. Might be a little record, actually. Held up same set, twice in four tackles. As uh, last tackle it is for the Warriors. Tigers defence passing the test so far. Johnson, 10 metre, 10 metres out with a kick. It comes back to Avasashek. Tackle count restarts. Here comes the big step to Avasashek, the dancing feet. And he's tackled nine away from the line. And a penalty conceded by the Tigers. Again, the quick tap is slow, if you know what I mean, from the Warriors. Luke to Mannering. And a Mannering on the spin, thought about an offload. It was covered up over the back by Siamena for now. 
Luke goes left side. Robson pump and is tackled low down by Sirinan. Couldn't quite get there. Luke to Setterfield. Johnson. And across with Thompson. Thompson tries a fend on Little John. There's support again. Right on the goal line. Johnson to Setterfield. Delivers short. Better ever go over. He's bounced over. I don't think it's a double movement. It looked momentum to me. And I'm happy enough for them not to even check it for the video. The Warriors, as I said, if they can find some belief, it can be a crazy game. Well, they needed to come up with a try, Fossey, with the, all the ball they just had. A few sets at the Tigers' line. Got a six to go call off a kick that was played at, and a, a terrific no look pass there from Sean Johnson. Looked to throw it out the back, hit his flat runner in Simon Mannering. Mannering didn't extend that arm. He bounces. Ball never left his chest. Nice and deep, Johnson. Aaron Woods was full. It's different to the Michael Jennings one disallowed on Thursday night. Well, Jennings extended the arm. Yeah. Leave it up almost on the, yeah. on the left arm and the right going over. So Mannering gets the try, and uh, 28 to 8 should become 28 to 10. The Tigers have been maybe a little patchy since half time, other than the first set. I mean, I'm, I'm trying my best here for Warriors fans to talk them up. I, I'm not seeing a distinctive turnaround yet. Of course, this is game two on Super Saturday, and the final match will be up in Townsville with the Cowboys against the Sharks. Every match on Fox Sports, live and ad-free. Well, if they couldn't come up with a try after having three sets virtually starting inside the Tigers 20, they may as well all walked off and, and said, well, that's it. We, we, we give up now. But they've been able to score a try, and that gets them back in the game. 28-10, a mountain of time left. Martellino, it is with it. If they can unlock... Two of us a check and a, a bit of individual brilliance sometime in the next five, ten minutes. Make it 28, 16. Well, you just never know. And the seamless Sonne really launching himself into the Tigers' defence. He has lifted since half time. Now for Mentoring. And he's up to halfway. It's been a pretty good set. Four tackles here since their second try. And uh, Johnson kicks before the last. Has got it over the head of Tedesco. Look at the chase. There's determination there. Tedesco is confronted by eight and nine and is going to be tackled five metres out. Well, I, I think that's the first time the Warriors have actually tried to put the ball into the in goal. Now, I don't know whether that's just how their sets have conspired and they haven't been in, the, in that position, but kick into the, into the in goal, defend well and see if you can force an error. The run metres today overall uh, about 300 metres less than what the Tigers have done. Here's Norfolk Luma, and that may have been forward there to Nagama. No, they're going to say OK. Sideline official was right in line with it. That is the magic man McFarlane from the first half with a flag. So I'll go with him. Last tackle for the Tigers. With Cherrington. Moses has to rush his kick under pressure from Luke. Manu's hands letting him down a little. And uh, now he will charge back at the Tigers. What are you doing? He's running at you. Hoffman with it for the Warriors. A little bit. You make sure you're not the first one no. down there. Well, as the story goes, as Roy Simmons tells when Melman Iggy used to run up here, you pick up a handful of poop. And uh, they've dropped it, the Warriors. He tells that story so well. What do you do when Malman is running at you? You pick up a pen to full of that. Where are you going to find that? When Mal's running at you, you'll find some. Well, that was a good run from Manu to get things started. Salomon Akata struggling to get up. Just, just a basic error. He's not thinking about the ball. Too worried about thrashing his legs around. Close there on the scrum clock there. Got inside the final five seconds. 35 seconds for scrums. 30 seconds for line dropouts. Here is Lawrence with the ball for the Tigers. 28-10 after it was 28-4 at half time. 
11 into the second half. Slow play the ball from Lawrence, but there's a penalty anyway for inside the 10. And I don't know, with a little bit going the Warriors' way, you might even think about a shot at goal here. Well, it'll put it more than three converted tries out, but Mitchell Moses wants to put it out over the sideline and they've had, got a pretty good strike rate off the back of penalties when they start their sets down in the Warriors' end. They're thinking bigger score than just uh, outside three converted tries. 11 metres from the line. And now for Woods. I, I don't mind that, an inside the 10 metre penalty. I, I just hope we're consistent all the way through. Caught us a bit by surprise there. Now there's another penalty. Yeah, just one extra shove from Madalino on Woods as he tried to get to his feet. And they rethink. Same result though. Let's go to tap. Don't worry about the 20-point margin. Here is Grant with it. And uh, Tim Grant, half a metre from the line. And will play it almost right on the goal line. To the right with Moses. Switch to Sirenen. Really developed as an 80-minute player last year. And then intercepted on the bounce to Robson. It's a little ragged here for the Tigers. Well, it has. And the pass from Sirenen was on, but no one really followed him. Mitchell Moses had turned his back and was red getting himself set for the next play. Sirenen just was able to pull away from the defender and pop it out. Well, he's been the scramble to see now. Robson, Cutter! Set away by the Beast. Will take on more. Tedesco has been on like a shirt. Then Robson has lost it. And the tackle from Cherrington. Is Tedesco still with us? Or do we talk about him in the past tense? Well, I, I tell you what. He was able to get onto his feet pretty quickly. Just watch Qatar. And this is... You don't want to be facing that. Qatar straight over the top of Tedesco. But like he was in attack, Tedesco was up quickly. Robson not able to handle the the one back on the inside from Solomon Akata. It was Kata off a Manu Vaduve pass. Scrum won by the Tigers at 28 to 10. There's a fair highlights package to come out of this game through 53 and a half minutes. It's a good one on Super Saturday. Game one was good too. Canberra and Penrith. I'm sure the Cowboys and the Sharks will be the same. There's now Woods with it. And that's a good cut up by the captain. Now 21 tackles and 14 hit-ups. Top of the hit-up count for players from either side. Aaron Woods. New skipper. Cherrington Moses right up the advantage line. Robson, good defence. Last tackle, Tigers at 28 to 10. Cherrington infield and set for the kick from Little John. Vaduve's underneath it. That time Manu's safe. Although then he's gotten the pass to Hoffman until Vasa Shek. He turns Little John around. Not the first. Don't worry about it, Jack. You're not the first to be beaten like that. And the Warriors have it inside their 20. On the scoreboard, they are still in the game. And as long as they believe that, there is hope. Lola here with the ball. It's a rare run from Tui Lola here. Only his second carry of the game. Well, Manu's doing his best to try and get something out of his teammates. A big charge as in recent sets. Now Ashford, no support at all when he went on that uh, dummy half scamper. Last tackle, Johnson in position. Got a dreadful ball. Got an absolute filthy ball from dummy half. Federal Roach in a dummy half. Hasn't been on the field long. And just couldn't get the half volley. And shouldn't be expected to. Last tackle. They're not a happy crew, are they? They're not a happy crew. Well, you, well, you go back back to the first play of the game. The, the penalty kick for touch doesn't find the line. Now, you said at the time, and that's a diabolical error. But I, I don't know. Well, what happened from there? I mean, that can't be the coach's fault, that pass right there. But attention to detail has not been strong for the Warriors today. Well, what's been the, the knock on the Warriors over the years? I, exactly what's happened today. Ill discipline. Really, defence hasn't been up to, the, up to the mark. The Tigers are getting a roll on 
whenever they want to. Sherrington out of dummy half. I look at the moves there of Tedesco as well. Well, he was there to wrap him up. And uh, through four tackles, now Sherrington coming into his own. He's held up by Martellino, got it away to Woods. Woods soldiers forward for another run. Last thing for the Tigers. With 23 and a half minutes remaining here at Campbelltown. Moses, good play. Sirenen, looked like he passed off the deck. Play on. Look out right now. Away goes Torvasa Shek. Coming across from the far side. It's the only chance. I thought it was Jerrington or Simona. And then Torvasa Shek. Yeah. will play 12 minutes from the line. Simona did extremely well. In fact, they all did in scramble. Now Johnson, it's on in the right side. He doesn't pass. He steps and straightens away then for Thompson. They have to score. Thompson gets it for the Warriors. They've gone the distance. They are in the contest as the Tigers get scrappy. But you can sum up all what just happened there. Well, they are now, and it was another intercept. Nathaniel Roach was the man that took that one quickly off to Roger Tuovasashek. Plenty of cover coming. The men behind weren't fast enough to catch Sheck, but Simona across the field forced him to stop to play the ball. Well, this sort of situation is set up beautifully for Sean Johnson, and I thought he blew it. Stepped on the inside. Sue couldn't get him to ground kick quick enough. The one-armed offload to Bodine Thompson, and the Warriors, for all they've done wrong today, are still in the match. 28-14, kick to come. And this would be something. Well, I thought Tuovasa Shek, 20 of the 30. Well, he's going to score. Then I looked up and saw from the far side a flash coming past. It was Tim Simona. Well, he was quick to react from the other side of the yeah, field. But, exactly. but again, it was, it was an almost a, a Tigers chance to score. And they've had a couple in this second half that where the last pass has gone to strain and ended up in the Warriors' hand. And Lola here has hit the upright. And they're trying to pick back big margin. Every, every point is vital yeah. to miss there. Well, well, the Tigers turned down a couple of opportunities to extend it past the three converted try mark and have gone for the try. They haven't been able to come up with it, Isaac Luke. Let's go down to Jimmy Smith. Yeah, Roger Tuovasa Shek on screen there. 5,795 metres, thanks very much. Blew apart the record for the NRL last year. We eat, eat up some more metres there. Getting him into the game, you know, that was lucky that he got into the game there. Getting him into the game in more deliberate situations is something they're going to have to look at. Conversely, Mitchell Moses, we've had a lot of wraps on him. Vossi, as Manu cleans up, and a lot of wraps on him. This afternoon, he just didn't quite manage that last tackle play. Well, what, what about this? The, the ball, Manu was headed over the sideline. He's linked up with Gabbe, who takes it back towards the sideline. Jimmy, I, I will put you as responded here now as a penalty. Moses is unhappy with that, saying the mark wouldn't play. You can't just dive out of there. Explain, well, he's explained the rule, but whether that was actually it. Well, well, he has, and I guess he had a Tigers player that was, that was the reason why he wasn't closer to Gavay, who was yes. playing the ball. Otherwise, you can't stand three metres back no. and say you're the dummy no, half. No, no way. Now, Jimmy, 60 minutes into the contest. Did the Warriors get out of jail here? Absolutely, if this continues. The crowd's gone berserk because of the extra penalty given, but... Undoubtedly, time is not the issue, and certainly scoring points is not the issue for the Warriors. It's the way they've played this afternoon. That's the issue. Yeah, there's some funny moments out there. Aaron Woods just fielded the ball for the Warriors through the pass, 20 metres wide, if, if anyone. Quick restarts have not been the order of the day for the Warriors. So Johnson finds the line. Second half, 4 2 penalty cam for the Warriors. Gave a 28 to 14. And 10 uh, 0 second half to the Warriors. So Roach on to Martellino. There's Johnson, delivers short again. Thompson starting to have a stamp on this game. Bodine Thompson, Johnson, that's confident. Jinx back in field, now across. This is the old Sean Johnson, and this is the old Manu Vanuve. 
who is going to get over the line and then twist and not get up the ball. Three. Warriors held up in goal for the third time this second half. Oh, a great tackle from David North Luma, who just stood his ground, had Manu charging at him. Johnson dangerous when he drifts across the field. That was great impact. Great initial impact from David North Luma. They still had to scratch and fight their way to, to hold up Manu, but they, they were able to do it. Yeah, well, probably 49 times out of 50, or 98 times out of 100, Manu scores there. 10 metres away from the line. It's all with the Warriors all of a sudden. Johnson, they overrun it that time. Thompson, it was. Back to centre field for Gave. Johnson wanted the return ball. It doesn't come. It may come late. Gave still wrestling with the Tigers' defence. He's had a go. His first game for the Warriors. Last tackle it is. They come short side. Robson got a kick, which took a deflection. Hard to say it was played out by a Tiger. Shot clock on. Tigers feed. It is not played out. Tigers scrum feed. Robson couldn't thread the needle. Yeah, they needed a result there. They needed another set at the Tigers. Mitchell Moses off the line quickly and really forced the error. Robson trying the left-footed kick. So scrum 10 metres out from the Tigers line with 18 minutes remaining. It's been high on entertainment. Oh, that's a great scrum. Man. Wow. I don't think there was one player bound when the ball came out. Still with us. As uh, now, Sherrington and the Tigers. Not sure what Jason Taylor's thinking right at the moment. Probably wanting just uh, a straightforward set to get things back on track. Here is Woods. Turned over a bit of ball. In fact, they lead the error count, the Tigers, 10-8. rate 21 of 29 and uh, oh, a good powerhouse the pass well, it's another intercept that falls the way of the Warriors on a loose ball he's done that a couple of times and that's really the only blot on his copybook so Arsosu has been very powerful running the football today for wayward passes well I, well, I hope they're not discouraged you know if I'm a Tigers fan I'm I know they haven't all found the mark, but I'd be encouraged by what I'm seeing as Martellino with the ball. Then for Johnson. Johnson goes straight through, puts the step on a stepper in Tedesco. And the Warriors, this is, this could be an Easter miracle early. It's now 28 18 for a side that wasn't just down, wasn't just out. They were broken, destitute at halftime. Well, there's just no one in the competition that can do this and, and make it look so easy. Throws the dummy. He's the best mover in, in our game. The most gifted player. There's plenty of critics about whether he's a, a good halfback or a, a good number seven and, and can really come up with a play that the Warriors need all the time. But there is no one as brilliant as Sean Johnson in the NRL. What are we seeing? Is this going to be how the season unfolds? The whole lot of it. Sean Johnson up in lights there for 28-18. At half time, where like everyone is saying in the rugby league community, with apologies to Andrew McFadden, Andrew McFadden's gone. I mean, that's what that was the natural reaction of everyone. Well, there, ha there has been a build-up of it over the off-season that, 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 that was leading to that sort of talk. At 28-4 at half time. I don't think we're alone saying that. So Lola here bangs it over. Strap yourself in for the rest of this one on Fox Sports Super Saturday. There he is. He's got a bit of colour back in his face. Andrew McFadden. Amazing stuff. 28 to 20. It's all on Fox Sports. Every game live and ad free. And tomorrow you're going to see the 213th clash between the Roosters and the Rabbitohs. That'll kick off our, our double on Sunday. A Sunday ticket. I'll be in the studio and joined by Gaz and uh, former Manly International Johnny Gibbs and Lara Pitt. And we'll take you through those two games tomorrow afternoon. 28 to 20, 14 and a half to go.
If the Warriors score next, look out. And it will be Jason Taylor who's suddenly feeling sick. And uh, Martellino with the ball. 29 metres out from their own line. Roach, Mannering, works right side for Johnson. Look at the free-flowing football from the Warriors. And exploding onto the ball as Lola here. Throws it back over the top. It's into the bread basket of Mannering. He hasn't got much petrol in the tank. And Kantar has scored. Well, what do I say? It's, it's the fourth match of the season. And I don't think you'll get more drama than this. 28-4 at half time, it is now 28-24 with a kick to come that's just left of the uprights and they're moving the ball, the Warriors. It just goes through the hands. Blake Aceford creates the overlap. He's got too much speed to Ilola here. Lobs one on the inside, a great bounce for Mannering. Looked like he was going to get wrapped up. He knew he wasn't going to make it or there was doubts about it, but fortunately for them, Qatar was back on the inside. My voice is gone, yours is gone. We can't do this all season. If every game is like this, we'll all end up at the funny farm. <laughs> this, is, this is crazy. Like, who could be a coach? I, I had Henry McFadden leaving the ground <laughs> at half time. Yeah, I had Jason Taylor teeing up a limousine to pick him up after the match to go out to Chinatown and have a big feed and off to the casino. Oh, this is great. Now, He's shaking, Jason Taylor. Look at, look at him. He's eating a pen. He's got ink poisoning. Lola here, successful. The greatest game on earth is delivering in the very first round. Jimmy Smith, oh, you said they can win. How do you feel, Vossi, if you're Jesse Sue? That's the last time the West Tigers touched the ball, remember? Great run from him, and then he offloads, and, and then it's the Warriors' ball. And, and Jason Taylor getting very nervous indeed. It's just the Warriors being the Warriors. Remember that first game of last year against the Newcastle Knights? I think on that occasion, Sean Johnson didn't find touch from a penalty. And all that mixed bag is to come for the next 24 games for this team. Badu Bay from the kickoff. 28-26. 12 minutes remain on a super-duper Super Saturday match. 25 out from their own line. Watches himself at them. Well, he's been like that since the first. I can't criticise his uh, input. Outside the 30 now. Roach to Martellino. There's still no Isaac Luke back on the field, which is interesting whether he'll get back on for the final 10. Johnson working out towards the wing of Lula here. What about the speed he was able to put on? He, he just left him in his wake. Tui Lula here. Now Johnson. 35 from the line, Martellino. He slips it out the back. Johnson, there's an overlap here. And he delivers short to Hoffman. Couldn't offload. Last tackle, Warriors. Robson takes off. Now he's in trouble. Got a kick in. And Tedesco from the in goal. James Tedesco for the Tigers. It's hammered by Martellino. Well, hasn't had many opportunities to bring a kick back. James Tedesco and Martellino made sure that he didn't, didn't make the most of that one. Great stop from the Warriors front rower. 28-26 as the Tigers with it. 25 from their own line. Now 11 minutes to go. And uh, David Norfoluma, who was quite brilliant in the first half. He was called to play it. The Tigers fans baying for a penalty right now. Tigers making nowhere near the metres they were. In fact, the Warriors have now had more running metres than the Tigers, and they were more than 300 behind. The kick down will be fielded by Torvast Sheck. What if he breaks them open now? And well contained by Sirenen. That's not easily done. Slow play the ball for Robson and Qatar. They've both had to endure the heat. Thought the Warriors, given they were down 28 to 4, it was going to be a long, long afternoon. Oh, Lola here! Oh, the drop ball with all the momentum. Does that sit them back on their pants again? You've just got to wonder. There's still plenty of time left. Hit the ball. They've just ticked over the 70 minute mark. Isaac Luke must be close to coming back on. And all those attacking geniuses they've got in their side. 
Will that, in the end, be the difference? Completion rates, the West Tigers look at them down, way down on what they offered in the first half. I know there's an old Tiger watching over Rideway this afternoon, David Parks, 91 years of age. Good on you, David. I hope you're enjoying this one. You've probably seen it all before, games like this, 28-26. Great to have you watching Fox Sports. Good on you, David. Supporting the Tigers. They're 15 metres away from the line. Moses to Desco. Desco almost got the arm free for Nagama. Five from the line. Been a while since the Warriors have felt this sort of defensive heat. Woods now. Not as uh, fearsome, that run. And uh, the Tigers, they need a little bit of flair to finish it here. Grant. Unloads, Moses, long spiralling pass. And Simona, another pass hits the deck. Lawrence quickly, Lawler here. It's a big tackle to make on Lovett. Last tackle, Tigers, Moses will bomb across field. It's not going to get anywhere near the in goal. Up they went. LEA has knocked it forward. So zero tackle, Torbasashek with it. There's eight and a half to go, and it's two points the difference. Now, if I was, if I was Mitchell Moses, in that set, I would have just been thinking repeat set. I wouldn't have even been trying to score a try. Now there's only two points. Oh, Manu! Manu's put it down. And Andrew McFadden has gone for the bucket again. Norfolk's got it for the Tigers. What a game of football this is. Manu's hands turn into Dolphins flippers. As Woods has got it. Five minutes out from the line. Warriors defending again. Tigers trying to get their first point to the second half, mind you. Grant with the ball. They're short on the left, the Warriors. The Tigers left. And they've still only got two there. They've still only got two defenders against four Tigers. And the Tigers go the opposite way. Moses, Tedesco, short to the Gamma. He's short of the line as well. Hoffman with a try saver. Play the ball, Tedesco backs out a dummy half quickly. Runs around the back. There of Vasu, could have got himself into trouble, and Robson throws him down. A little rudderless all of a sudden, the Tigers. Moses to Sue. He's five metres from the line, and the Warriors' defence, I swear they're still short out on the Tigers' left. Last tackle it is, no penalty conceded there. As it comes to the right, Moses well weighted. Vaduve couldn't field it. They'll get a line drop out out of it. Well, the Gama went so close to scoring the try, the shot clock's going, they don't get to waste time, the Warriors. Moses gets it through the defence, that was a great kick. That's what they should have been looking for in the other set. They were fortunate that Manu had come up with a spilt ball to give them another chance at it. The Gama went awfully close to scoring, but importantly, Moses got them back to the centre of the field. So he could just stretch the gap between the players a little wider to thread that ball through. Luke boot to the ball with two seconds left on the uh, line dropout clock. The 30 seconds, the Gama still limping. Not sure who they can bring on at this point. So they're playing with 12 at the moment in attack. It goes to Grant. There's still six minutes to go. It's a long six minutes if the Tigers don't score. Played by Grant. He gets up swinging there. I don't know what, for what reason at Aceford. Sue with another run. Will play it nine metres from the line. Disentangled himself there from Mannering. Switch of play, Moses. Lawrence. Again, another pass hits the grass. Turn and pass. And Rankin, who's seen very little football in this second half, is tackled 18 metres away from the line. To centre field, they come with love at this time. And uh, the Warriors' defence is solid. But the Tigers attack nowhere near what it was earlier in the game. Last again, Woods for Moses. He's put it down as well. Taylor and McFadden. They are going absolutely off their heads in the box. He just snatched at it out the back from Aaron Woods. No doubt he had a repeat set again in his mind, but just couldn't handle the ball. Vossi, still five minutes to go. That's plenty of time. Well, I've reached the conclusion today I'd rather be shot out of a cannon at a circus for a living than a rugby league coach. Here's Luke with the ball. He runs for 15 metres. 
He's nine metres inside his own half. Four and a half to go. 28-26. Sam Lassone with a bit of dancing there. Not quite of the two of us as Just inside the Tigers' half. And Luke, that's not all that flash. Rolled onto his back by Sue. That wastes the tackle and it's the last. And it's a slow play, the ball as well. Johnson right side of the ruck. Will try his luck with the bomb. Tedesco with a little bit of time has got it. 20 metres away from the line and the Tigers are a set of six closer to victory. Rankin with it. They have caught one a little high there from Lilliman and they've detected that. Jacob Lilliman right arm swinging around high on Jordan Rankin. It all helps the Tigers' cause. It's a massive call for the Tigers. No doubt he got him. Footwork from Jordan Rankin has earned his side a penalty. Lilliman just hanging that right arm out. He's been all shades this afternoon, Jason Taylor. Going there with your best material, it'd be hard to get a laugh. It'd be a hard audience to work, wouldn't it? A hard crowd. Here's Woods. He's uh, back to halfway for the Tigers. That was their first penalty in 25 minutes, by the way, for the West Tigers. Just over three minutes remain. An amazing Super Saturday match, this one. Sharks versus Cowboys next up. And this is Moses across, LEA with it. He's done well on Dubu. Roach the other player on Dubu today for the Warriors. Infield for Sue. That is his 13th hit up of the afternoon. And in the early evening now, inside the final three minutes, Little John, Moses, left side build up, looks good. Lawrence, Tedesco, trying to step Johnson. They've trapped him there. Last tackle yet again for the Tigers. They've been able to force one line drop out. Bad pass from dummy half. Moses did well, got it low. Vanu Bay has got this one. He's been a bit hot and cold. Robson. So Robson on tackle one with two and a half minutes to go. Solomon Akata with the ball. I suppose if you're a Warriors fan, this is where you say cue Sean Johnson. Give us a miracle. Vanu Bay it's up the back trick. Almost lost it. He's up to the 30 for the Warriors. That's tackle number three. Two minutes to go now. Sam Lasone. Johnson runs himself into trouble. Sends it back in field to Luke. Play on the call. Here is Hoffman. Hoffman will get it close to halfway on tackle four. Two up the sleeve. Luke Lasone. They want it on the outside. Johnson's got it. Two of us as Sheck has lost it. Big call, big call. They say play on. Gee, that's a good tackle. Tim Simona wrapping up and stopping to Avasa Sheck. Last tackle, Johnson tries a chip. He's not going to get it back. Moses to Desco. Somehow they've got to play on Kyle out of it. Tedesco sprints away. I thought Moses might have knocked it on. But Tedesco has run 50 metres. Hang on a second. They're Check celebrating. It. But they will have to check it. We have no try. We're on tackle six. Confirm that there's a double knock on. Referring to the general loop pattern in the bunker. Yeah, there was a contest after the chip, and it was Mitchell Moses who went up for the ball along with Sean Johnson. Did Moses knock the ball forward we into the onside? It's a wide angle, but it's uh, it's definitely gone off Johnson into Moses. Johnson. Johnson's knocked the ball on first. He's, yeah, he's Johnson into Moses. right hand into Moses. Yep. Then back into Robson. Robson knocks it forward. So it's a it's so a bad knock on the Warriors backwards Tigers. Hang on a second. Oh, they're going to say that was a knock Hang back. On. They're going to say knock back. The Warriors cleanly taken by Tedesco. Just rolls through to the ground. Did you see knock back? I, I thought it was Johnson in the Moses going forward. And Tedesco, I don't know what we're looking at here as we go downfield. Oh, it'll be a try then. If they said it's a knock back by the Tigers. But was it a knock back? Yeah, the the decision goes to the board. And the boys, Scott. Well, this is going to set the crowd alight here. 
the decision. The general has ruled, he's passed it on to the colonel, and the colonel says draw. Well, that'll get the Tigers home in a remarkable game of rugby league. I don't know about the video bunker there. That's, uh, that's my first disputed decision for the year. Well, I'm going to go with the referees. I, I originally thought it went forward, but if they think it went back, James Tedesco will run the try in the 80th minute to seal at 28-24 at halftime. 28-26. It wasn't a great set from the Warriors. The chip was the, the last roll of the dice for Sean Johnson. Camden Rams Jr. gets the match sealer here. Moses will soak up as much time as he can. In fact, he'll use up all the time. He'll stay at the back of his mark. And uh, Moses with a kick. He's got the two. The Tigers have won. Their only points of the second half have come in the final minute. What an afternoon of rugby league here at Campbelltown. After the Tigers had the Warriors all but dead and buried at half time. At 28 to 4. It got back to 28 to 26.